Hey, what's up with you guys? Hope everybody's well. I want to talk to you today about layer two solution for Ethereum, and in particular one called Matic, poly, now known as uh, Polygon, which is just integrated in liquidifolio.com. Uh, so you probably, you may have seen on Twitter this news. I know you guys like the concept of uh, having, uh, you know, the opportunity to invest in the pools in uh, layer two and track them with liquidity folio. So what I want to do today is really give you some context of what Matic is, how to use it, how to provide liquidity to the exchange called uh, QuickSwap, and then how to track your investment in QuickSwap uh, with uh, liquidityfolio.com. Now, starting with uh, Matic, I mean, what Matic is, uh, as I mentioned, is also known as now Polygon, but essentially is a layer two solution for Ethereum. Now, if you are investing in uh, DeFi and Ethereum, you know, kind of the network recently has been pretty slow. Fees has been pretty high. So this is kind of uh, pricing out a lot of uh, retail investors uh, specifically uh, because of uh, the high gas price, the high uh, whatever confirmation times. And uh, Matic is essentially a, is a layer two solution. So essentially it's a side chain which operates with a framework called Plasma. And uh, what essentially does, it allows you to uh, transfer <clears throat> some funds from Ethereum into this other side chain, operates there, so interact with the other uh, decentralized apps and decentralized exchanges and so on and so forth. And then, you know, if you want, go back with the, a thing called Bridge from uh, the, net, the Matic network to the Ethereum network whenever you want. With the difference and when you are on the Matic network, there is, uh, I, I think the network is processing right now 60,000 uh, transactions per second. The block time is about two, two seconds compared to Ethereum is uh, right now, I think, 13, 15 seconds. So it's, it's really just an extension of Ethereum, uh, the way I see it. And uh, I think it's going to get a lot of adoption. So how you can use it. So essentially, if you're using um, a MetaMask, you have to, uh, and there is all sort of guys, maybe I'll post this uh, uh, article uh, in, in the comments down below. But, but the idea is that um, with, uh, you know, if you're using MetaMask, you need to create a new network. So let me show you. So when you're opening up MetaMask, you see the Ethereum mainnet. Uh, is your primary network, but you can also uh, create a custom network, custom RPC, and you're going to create, you're going to follow the instruction, you're going to create a Matic mainnet. Same way, you know, for example, if you want to interact with the Binance Smart Chain, you, you're going to need to create a, a custom network as well. Once you've done that, then basically you need to transfer funds. You say, how do you transfer funds from Ethereum to, main, uh, to Matic if I want to use it there? And uh, there is a thing called a bridge which again, uh, you're gonna find it in the, uh, in the description below and also in the Matic website, where basically uh, what happened with the bridge, you can send, let's assume you have, I don't know, some Ethereum and some, some Ether and some R, uh, ERC20 token, I don't know, some DAI, USDC, whatever. You basically can use the bridge to transfer these funds from the Ethereum um, um, chain to the Matic chain uh, automatically, pretty much. And uh, it works kind of both ways. So if you want to uh, go from Ethereum to, to the Matic, you can do that. And then, you know, at a later date, if you want to go back to Ethereum, you can do that as well. Now, once you have some funds in, um, in Matic, now what do you do? Like one option, if you are a liquidity provider, you're probably following this channel, you can provide um, uh, liquidity the same way you, you can do it with Uniswap or Balance or Curve. Uh, you can provide it to uh, a decentralized exchange on Matic. Now, there is a bunch of them that are, that are coming to Matic. The biggest one right now is called QuickSwap. I know there is also SushiSwap um, coming to Matic as well. So will, they will have a version of the SushiSwap exchange on, on the Polygon Matic uh, network. But right now, I mean, the biggest is QuickSwap, which, um, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with Uniswap, you will recognize this is uh, derived from, from the Uniswap. Um, but both in terms of smart contract as well as the interface. And what you can do, you can uh, essentially provide liquidity. Now, the exchange is pretty small. Like if you're used to Uniswap, like $4 billion of liquidity, here there's just $100 million. But you can see how uh, uh, the liquidity is growing pretty fast. And also in terms of volumes, um, the, uh, the volumes are going pretty fast as well. And whenever, you know, the volumes are significant compared to the liquidity, also the fees are pretty, pretty good. And so what I want to show you next is how you can invest and how you can track the liquidity. So, I mean, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the liquidity folio, but uh, it's uh, one of the most used tools uh, by liquidity providers to track, manage their liquidity. And uh, if you're not registered, uh, you create an account, it's free, uh, it takes a few seconds. And then what you can do first off is really looking at the yield. So if you go on the pool section, you can compare, 
like for like all the investment opportunities in uh, Uniswap, Curve Balancer, and also now on QuickSwap, which is on, uh, as we said, is on layer two. So you see this L2. And um, basically the returns are pretty pretty good. So the, the pools, uh, the liquidity in the pools is uh, small compared to the other exchanges. It's, it's, uh, that's true. But um, there is also a, a, a very good APY, APR at the moment. Um, and, and as usual, this APR is given by um, by two components. There is the fees uh, and the uh, liquidity mining. Now, the liquidity mining, in the case of QuickSwap, is given uh, with their governance token, which is called Quick. And uh, you can see here, so for example, for, for the uh, uh, BTC Ethereum uh, pool, uh, there is a, you know, almost like negative, uh, well, it's, it's almost 0% in terms of fee and a slightly impermanent loss of uh, projected 0.41%, uh, but then there's all more than 5% on a, on a monthly basis um, of liquidity mining in quick. Uh, which gives us a 4.65% per month, which is uh, annualized about 56% uh, APY per year. So the yields are right now pretty good. And as, as I said, it's also because the liquidity is pretty small on the, on the exchange. And um, yeah, so, so the first thing you can do is really like check out the yields and check out the different pools. If there is any, any pool where maybe you have asset or you're inclined to provide liquidity, once you've done that, as usual, you can add your address to the liquidity folio and essentially zoom into your uh, specific address. You're gonna find all the tracking of your liquidity, um, whether you're uh, making money, whether you're having a permanent loss, uh, and also the return. You know whether it's due to the fee, which is the blue component, and whether it's due, uh, what is due to a liquidity mining of Quick, which is the yellow component. You can zoom in. Uh, to, to whatever essentially level of detail uh, you prefer. Uh, as usual, if you have any question or thoughts regarding your you providing liquidity and uh, the information you see on liquidity folio, feel free to connect with me directly. You find my contacts here either on uh, Telegram or on Twitter. Um, you, if you like content around DeFi and uh, specifically providing liquidity to the exchanges. Um, uh, consider subscribing to the channel as um, you know we're, we talk about DeFi and specifically uh, we talk about everything uh, liquidity providers related and uh, yeah until next time have a great day guys hope it was uh, useful to get the nomadic and uh, talk soon